Academic OneFile is a general database, meaning that it covers a wide variety of subjects and is intended to be the first stop in your research. On the front page of the database, you can use the drop-down menu to pick the type of search you want to do. Let's use key terms from a typical research question and separate each concept with AND. Autocomplete will give you some options to pick from as you type. You can use this to come up with keywords. On the results page, you can see your number of results here. The goal of your search is usually is to get that number down to a manageable amount. There are several ways to reduce the number of results. The easiest is to put more search terms into the search within results bar. This searches the stuff you've already found to narrow it down further. You choose the types of articles you see. This is useful when your assignment requires specific types of sources. There's an option to click for full text articles only. You should avoid selecting full text unless your paper is due within a week because you will miss articles that you could order on interlibrary loan. The publication dates area is also very useful for getting the most up-to-date information. Click on the custom date range to look for articles older than a year. The subjects area lets you narrow down your search using terms that describe the content of the article, as opposed to the keywords we've been using, which just look for the word to appear anywhere in the article or the title. This is one of the most effective ways to focus in on a specific topic. The document types allows you to get rid of non-relevant types of articles like book reviews and instead just to focus on the articles. Once you have a good list of relevant articles, click on an article title to get more information. There are several options on this screen. You can read the article in HTML format on the page if available. You can download it as a PDF using the buttons on the right. You can also get citation information by clicking on the Citation Tools button on the right and then selecting either APA or MLA format. Remember to double check these citations against your manual to make sure they are accurate. If you have any more questions, go to the library main page and click on the big red help button, then contact a reference librarian. We're always happy to help you with your research.